Okay. Well, one more time. I'm going to say, I'm Jay Todd, and this is what's happening, and then I, and I'll and I'll point, and you girls will shout. This week in gambling. That's exactly right. Okay. So so here we go. <clears throat> Pose. Hey everyone, Jay Todd coming to you from the Fremont Street Experience, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. You girls didn't get it. Uh, yeah, but you didn't point at the right time. I didn't point at the right time. Okay, I'll point. I'll point, and then we'll do it. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. <clears throat> here we go again. Pose. Hey everyone, Jay Todd coming to you from the fabulous Fremont Street Experience, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. <laughs> This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hello friends and thank you for joining me. I took some time off last week for the Thanksgiving holidays and all heck broke loose. So let's get right into the news with this week's big story. On our last program, we interviewed John Pappas, the executive director of the Poker Players Alliance, about their talks with the U.S. Department of Justice on when American players could expect to see refunds from their full tilt poker accounts. This week, we're happy to report that the DOJ has set a date, sort of, January of next year, when they are going to bring on a claims adjuster to get the process of refunding players' money started. This doesn't mean you're going to get all your money, nor does it put a specific timetable on when the refunds will be issued, but hey, at least the wheels have started to move. In other news, the Las Vegas Sun is reporting what I've been saying on this program for the past several months, that any hope of federal online poker legislation passing this year is all but gone. But there are people out there who are starting to say that the Fed's inability to act may actually be a good thing. Since last year's announcement by the DOJ that the Federal Wire Act only applies to sports betting, seven states have introduced legislation to regulate online gambling within their borders. And with the economy still in the crapper, that number is certainly going to rise in 2013. Like us, then join the conversation on our Facebook page. Interact with show hosts and other viewers. Leave suggestions and topics for future programs. Visit facebook.com slash this week in gambling. Hey, did you guys know that the parent company that produces this video, Bet Viral, also runs a play for free poker site? It's true. Chiphogs.com is giving away over a hundred bucks to our players just this week. There's no fees, no deposits, no download, no credit card needed. You just come, play, and win money. Now I know that a hundred bucks isn't worth getting too excited about, but hey, we're just getting started. And the more players we have come over, the bigger the prize pool is gonna get. And it's better than playing for nothing. Heck, if you're playing on Zynga right now and not getting paid anything, at least here, you win a little something something. So, uh, tell me the truth. Are uh, are those real? Oh yes. I've I've never seen something so large. Oh, thank you. I I mean the the magnitude of those sequins is ginormous. Oh yes. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you another new segment that we're going to be adding to our regular programming here at This Week in Gambling. 
Dedicated to player protection and fair play across the internet, here's Casino Meister, better known as Brian Bailey, with where to play and where to avoid. Thanks, Jay. Yes, it's a bitchin' week at Casino Meister. So what's up? I'll tell you what's up. For sure. Betfair made an attempt to be removed from our rogue pit. Ooh. Alas, it didn't happen. They were not going to consider any of the complaints that got them, you know, dumped in there to begin with. So why bother? You may be asking yourself, why is Betfair, a very popular sports betting and casino entity in Casino Meister's infamous rogue pit? Well, they were placed there about two years ago um, for implementing a spirit of the bonus term. In other words, they didn't like the way a large group of players played one of their bonuses after the casino managers made a bonus offer that not many players could refuse. Say what? Well, you can read more about this in Betfair's listing in our rogue pit. Or check out Casino Meister's videos. Um, I covered this about, oh, about two years ago. Also, we're all in, we are in the process of posting updated casino reviews for all of our credit casinos. At the moment, our casino lists are probably the most comprehensive list that you'll find anywhere. Yahoo! Besides the inclusion of casinos that meet specific requirements, uh, we post the payout times, uh, if they offer flushing, uh, weekend payouts, or withdrawal limitations. We also rate these casinos by giving weight to their licensing jurisdictions, payout times, uh, software platforms, uh, forum participation, and a whole lot more. If you haven't checked out our accredited casino list um, or our rating system, um, you have to do so right after uh, J. Todd finishes his fascinating video uh, that you're watching right now. <laughs> well, actually, uh, you're watching part of mine, which is fascinating in itself. But, uh, now I'm turning it back over to Jay. So, Jay Todd, it's all yours. Cheers. So, do you mind if I if I touch them? Oh, the feathers. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of perv do you think I am? I don't know. <laughs> Not your average perv. You girls are great. Thank you so much for, for being on the show. And, and you want to give a shout out, tell people who you are and where they can find your website? We're Showgirls Across America, www.showgirlsacrossamerica.com. Maybe you too can touch their feathers. Thank you for watching. See you next time on This Week in Gambling. You girls were great. We got we to pose here in the credits run a little bit. Leather, rinse, and repeat.